Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. Now it's spooky season, so what better way to celebrate than making a GB Studio Game Boy game that's inspired by Halloween. We're going to be making this game completely from scratch and we're going to put a time constraint on us and making it in 10 minutes or less. That's right, 10 minutes or less. So this game is going to be very arcade style -y. I think we can get something put together. That's our challenge today, is making a GB Studio game in 10 minutes or less. Now, I, I did cheat slightly, uh, as I have already made my game assets, such as the background, the player, and the object that we're going to be kind of doing here. But uh, that, it's 10 minutes or less, okay? So let's go ahead and get started and open up GB Studio here. And what we're going to call this is Happy Halloween 10 Mini or Less. Create projects. All right, so we started with a blank project here. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and open up the project folder. Our timeline has already started. And I'm going to, oh, that was weird, drag over our assets. I am breaking this so so badly right now okay so there's that one and then let's go with this guy and this guy drag them over and put it all in assets background goes in background and that's it all right we are ready let's go ahead and get a scene triggered here boom there we go go ahead and do that we've got to actually set our actor here the one at 16 by 16 and it is just fixed direction with movement here's our little buddy okay eh, yeah we'll give him this too i'll be fine and if he's moving the same deal that there and that there Okay, we're going to want to create a new state here. We're going to want to say this is the game over state. Fix direction, that's fine. We'll click here. And he's so sad. So sad. Okay. And there we have a cake piece of candy. Very nice. Go back to the game world here. Make that there. Okay. So first thing that we're going to want to do here is we're going to go ahead and click on scene one. Uninitiate. We're going to add an event, and that event is we are going to do good old math function, and we want to go ahead and get variable zero. We're going to name that object possession such, set to random. We're going to set it between zero and nine. That is how we will do this. We also want to do a uh, set variable to value and let's go to variable one which we're going to rename to score and we're going to set that to zero so when we load up this map it's going to set our score to zero and we're going to have a random value of zero to nine for a, pos a position is the word i want okay then we're going to go ahead and click on hide actor and on top of that we are going to add an actor we're going to add one right here and we want that to be a piece of candy perfect click back on to just the scene and boom we are hiding our piece of candy because we don't want the piece of candy to show up right away okay now we need a ton of if variables this is going to be fun. So if in value, right? So compared with value, if position is equal to value zero, that's fine. We want to do, do, do set our actor position. Set actor position. That's not the word. Messed up. There we go. Set actor position. There we go. Two zero zero. Basically, the stadium's going to be in that corner there. Okay, now I'm gonna copy this so we can keep this going. I'm going to paste event after. If it's set to one, I'm gonna go one, two. Okay, also make sure that actor one is selected. Okay, and let's go ahead, let's copy that event. Let's paste it now. If it's set to two, three, four, okay. Paste event after and three, four. Copy that one and paste after. Just makes it easier to kinda don't have to click it as much. 10, okay, oops, there we go. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. Paste after, set to 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oops. And push the wrong button, there we go. 1, 2, 1, 8, I think, right? Because this was 14, yeah, so 16. Copy that one. And last but not least, paste event after, set that to 9, 18, perfect. Okay, and then I'm also going to add a script. I'm going to attach a script. Also, do, 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 button, right? 
attach script to button if we push select it will say you have score andies okay i think that's all that we need for initializing now we need to do a lot of scripting here inside of our actor of the candy so let's go ahead and get started with that the first thing that we're going to want to do is go ahead and set our collision group to one and we're going to mess with the update first just because there's going to be a lot going on in here that in order to kind of get this catching game going so let's go ahead and click add event and we're going to show self Okay, we're gonna show the candy. And we want to move relative, active move relative. And we want to move forward, right? Cause Y axis down is forward one, yep. Forward one tile, okay. And then we want an if, do, 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 do an if statement. And we want to actor is relative to actor. So if the candy is below our player which is a down arrow for some reason we gotta go into settings real quick bump 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 oh yep there we go okay uh it's a platformer we want that there we go now we're no longer just a piece of candy so okay so we're gonna click here again on update if the candy is below the player what we want to do is we want to hide actor, hide ourselves, and then we want to set animation state of the player to game over. I want to wait. Let's say we want to wait about two seconds, right? I think that's plenty of time to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to change scene back to the scene. And then we want to move that there and face works again that's fine okay so i think that's all that we need to do on the update so that way it's just it's constantly running okay then we're going to go over here and we're going to go to on hit so when the candy hits the player when the candy hits the player we want quite a few things to happen uh, so all that stuff that we did earlier with these we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy script okay we're going to go here and we're going to replace script it's just a nice little cheat method here okay we're gonna go ahead and delete this stuff. Go delete that, delete that. So that way all that is fine and dandy. Delete this. So we just kind of cheated there and we got all that stuff kind of right where we need it to be. So then we need to show, right? Show the actor and let's make it a little bit more difficult. Okay, so right now, if we do this, we hit play. We have the candy coming down and we catch it and we keep catching it, but it, just keeps going in that same spot we need it to spawn elsewhere always we could just keep cheating and it's also not increasing our score we said we sell zero candies but we caught a lot it's phantom candy so okay do, 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 do. let's go ahead and let's put all that in now so let's go ahead and increase right one let's increase the score we're gonna need that put that up at the top so if the candy hits our player it's going to increase the uh the count we want to hide the actor we want to hide the candy if it hits us right hits us it hides the candy increases the score and then we want it to let's go back over here we're going to steal this we're going to steal that one and we're going to paste event after so it's gonna put the object somewhere random between zero and nine and then there's where it is zero through nine and then it's gonna show the actor again okay now we at least have a game. So when it comes down, boom. Okay, there we go. And it just spawns. Also, we're just kind of moving along. Oh, now it's over here. We have five candies, so it's counting. We technically made a game. Now, if it goes past, oh, he's sad. And we now have zero candies again. We did it, guys. This is a great base. This is where we can kind of really do whatever we want. We can add more challenges. We can make the candies fall faster. We can... Go ahead and make it to where our character is faster to try to you know maybe slip up uh we can even make it to where we jump that might be something worth about exploring but uh yeah that's a game in 10 minutes or less thanks so much for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please consider leaving a like and subscribe have a great week everyone and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one take care bye